You know, fall is right around the corner, and what a great time of year to do a little exterior painting. You know, changing the color of your home can make a big impact to your home, to your if you're selling, or just just a, it, may, it really makes a statement for a really economical thing. But here, you got to do it right because I think we all know some neighbors that have missed on the color, right? So. Picking the color is very important. So there's different things you can do. If you're going to have somebody paint your house, or even if you're doing it yourself, the labor involved, so getting the color right is very important. So if you're not confident, one thing you do, hire a decorator. Spend a couple hundred bucks and have a decorator help you pick your color. Now, if you want to do it yourself, you, you just take the time. First of all, don't ask the neighbors, all right? Asking the neighbor's opinion is just opens up a can of worms. And when you're doing the testing, the sampling on your house, backyard don't you don't want to let them see what you're doing all right because every you know the neighbor I'm talking about right mrs. Kravitz all right so the thing you can do at the stores you know there, there's all you can always you see these but then we don't know well what goes with what what goes with what well do a little cheating because now all the companies have nice little color schemes so now you know some of the colors that go together well that gives you the confidence right there that a decorator has actually picked those and so now you, you got something to start with. If you're just doing this, which I see, you know, people will take a, this and, and tape it to the wall and they stand back and they look at it, that's not a good way to pick a color. And by the way, if you pick that color, it's a miss. All right. Maybe a trim color, but all right. So this isn't enough. You need to paint. So you can buy these uh, sample quartz. They're pretty inexpensive. And, and if I was going to do it, I would do the trim. I would, I would do the door, the trim, all in one. And then I would look at it at different times of the day and really study it and make sure you're happy with it. All right. So very important to pick out the right color. So when you get ready, you want to do the prep. That's the other thing. Now we're excited, right? You're excited about all the different colors. So you don't house washing, wash the house down well. If you need primer on areas that are peeled, do a lot of scraping and priming, very important. And I know it's not the fun part. There's wood fill where the uh, woodpeckers and gosh knows what else has uh, got into your house. So take care of that. Cheap brushes will make really good paint look very average. Spend some money on better brushes, better applicators, whatever, however you're doing it. But it's going to cost a little more, but people will buy good paint, and then they buy lousy applicators. And as far as the paint goes, if, you're, if the walls, if the, the surface of your house is in pretty good shape and hasn't peeled, I would recommend using a, uh, this is an eggshell. So an eggshell will stay a little cleaner, but the problem is it's got just a small amount of sheen to it. So if you have a lot of, you know, cut up stuff, it's going to show. So if, you're, if the wood is bad, go back to plain old flat. Use semi-gloss or satin on the trim and take your time. Always paint in the shade, but the fall is a great time. Now, the special color. This is kind of a new thing. We pick a special color for the front door, all right? Don't dilute the special color by doing the mailbox, rocks, everything else. It's just the door. This is very special.